Happy Friday, everyone. Happy New Year and welcome back to Bach around the world. As today we travel to one of my favorite cities around the world, a city that combines futuristic type of living and centuries old traditional lifestyle. This is Tokyo, Japan. Tokyo is a massive metropolis made up of several cities put together. It takes up an area so large, in fact, that if we were to compare Greater Tokyo with London, this is what it would look like. To enjoy the view from above, I would head up to Tokyo Tower, which has been an emblem of modern Tokyo for more than 60 years, and then head even higher to Tokyo Skytree, Japan's tallest structure to appreciate the immenseness of this city. And if you're lucky enough, on a clear day, you might even catch a glimpse of Mount Fuji. Tokyo is a truly safe place to explore and has one of the lowest crime rates in the world. Forget your wallet or your mobile phone, for example, in the metro where you can be sure to get it back through the lost and found at the station. But it is also a city of extremes. Talking of transportation, try to get on a train at rush hour for a true sense of the locals' lifestyle. Or cross the street on the famous Shibuya crossing and visit the famous statue of Hachiko, the dog who waited for nine years at this crossing for his owner's return. Then make sure to pay a visit to the Asakusa temple to appreciate the divine architecture and straight after that head to Harajuku to experience the meaning of surreal and bizarre. And then if you're in Tokyo during the cherry blossom, you can experience the truly sublime by going for a walk by the Meguro River. If you're an early riser, make sure to visit the Tsukiji market, where tunas are auctioned every morning, often going for several million dollars each. And if it is a Sunday, go to Ginza, Tokyo's luxury shopping district, when it becomes a pedestrian paradise. There is a nightlife here for all tastes, and there are enough bars in Tokyo to eradicate global thirst. Ropongi is definitely one of the favorite hotspots, particularly for foreigners. And Shinjuku is another place where the sun never sets. But for me, the best entertainment offered in Tokyo is in the concert halls, where world-class musicians take to the stage every single day. Santori Hall, for example, where I experienced the best acoustics in my life, and futuristic-shaped Tokyo Opera City, where with the Fukushima Youth Symphonietta, we played for the Empress Michiko of Japan. With an estimated 60,000 restaurants in Tokyo, food is a whole different chapter. Sushi, tempura, soba, yakitori, ramen, okonomiyaki, yakiniku. And of course, with your meal, dive headfirst into the world of Nihon Shu, the Japanese rice wine, and experience a completely different world of wine. What I think makes Tokyo exceptionally unique is the hospitality. This might be Japan's capital and biggest city, but the locals will go out of the way to show you around, to help you with the problem and to make you feel welcome. The attention to detail, the expression of gratitude and kindness, the obsession for perfection, the high value for aesthetics are all seen and felt in everyday interactions. Don't be surprised if you ask for directions on the street and 20 years later you're still friends with that person. Would you like a dinner recommendation in Tokyo? Well, drop me a line and I'll be sure to let you know. And don't forget to uh, tune in next Friday as we travel to one of the most romantic places on earth to watch the sunset from the cliffs of Santorini. See you then.